people were there from the different agencies like the Department of Water Resources, Corps of Engineers, and somebody that from my past that I had interacted with from the Corps of Engineers uh, eight years earlier when I started in the job that I'm currently in as service coordination hydrologist came up to my boss and I and said, I'm going to embarrass you in front of your boss here for a moment. And he came up and he said, I just wanted to tell you in front of your boss how good of a speaker you've become over the years. He was, he was very complimentary and he was there seeing me giving at different meetings throughout the years, uh, giving talks, and also two weeks prior my boss had just retired and I had put, I was kind of the MC for that and gave a nice uh, presentation and got a lot of uh, positive feedback from that and he was there too. So he acknowledged me for that and for the development over the years, which I can attribute to postmasters. Now, I'm not the warmest, you know, most entertaining, exciting speaker, and, uh, and what I'm really good at, as I think Mark pointed out in one recent thing, is um, technical presentations. So, what, um, but, but I've, um, I've been working in uh, developing other areas. So fellow Toastmasters and guests here, this is, uh, you know, it's a real opportunity to come to Toastmasters and just get the chance to speak in front of people in a nice, safe environment like this. And what happened back in the spring, I gave a workshop on goal setting. I don't know if any of you remember that. Anybody here remember that? Did anybody write down some goals and things that you wanted to have happen? See, I did that myself. And one of the things that I wrote down was that I would be acknowledged for my public speaking. <laughs> and, and so that came up. One of the other things that, or uh, the other things I put down, and this was by the end of, um, by like October, I think I had, I had set goals, and then I had set goals from, for the next quarter from like October to February, something like that. And uh, in August, I got a call from a, a good friend of mine uh, you know, from when, when I was probably 13 years old, he's originally from India, and he's always posting on Facebook. He's got a huge house, and he's always posting these gigantic parties, and there's just people everywhere, you know. And it's just that, that you know, not uh, my kind of party usually, but um, but he invited me to come give the toast for his for his uh, fifth or 25th uh, wedding anniversary. I mean, maybe it was 30th. 25th, anyway, a significant number of wedding anniversary, and you know I, I couldn't make it to that, but I was honored that he wanted me to come. You know he doesn't see me speak or anything. I, I just interact with him when I go back to Salt Lake City occasionally, and uh, but I was I was very honored that he he asked me, and, and I noticed when in, in that moment that and that was one of the goals I wrote down in uh, my goal setting. And the other thing was I ended up emceeing my boss's retirement. You know, I, I just, it just it sort of happened. It was like, there was nobody doing it. My boss was organizing his own retirement party and I thought, well, that doesn't seem right. You have to organize your own retirement party. So I stepped in to do it and, and it was actually a lot of fun. And I think it was, it was uh, well received. Uh, it was really, you know, all about honoring him. So it wasn't, I wasn't the focus. I mean, I tried to brought it, bring in some humor and things like that, but it was really about honoring him. So I just found it interesting that these goals, and I've had this happen in the past, where I've set goals, haven't really, you know, you have a, I have a plan to execute and actions by this time and all this, and, and if you really follow that, you could get great results doing that. But I also noticed when I wrote down goals and objectives, and I wasn't necessarily in action, things seemed to happen anyway. So there's something about actually putting a goal a concrete goal out there in the world, kind of speaking it into existence, and and just letting it, the universe just kind of takes over, and things start showing up. So it's a really an amazing thing. And I challenge all of you to, if you have your worksheet from that uh, workshop that we did, pull it out and see if anything has shown up. I'm gonna, you know, I, I've been meaning to do that, I haven't done it yet, but I, I, I'm gonna find that and see, well, what else? Okay, what's coming up for the next quarter? <laughs> What can I expect to show up? And, and if I put energy into it, I'll know that you know even more will happen. 